Hi, um, it's been a while since I did some mod work um, because I was busy doing other stuff but um, I'm going to make some time today, this evening because uh, I just had a package from uh, Marshall at Retroactive and he sent me uh, the Ultra HDMI orders I've made so um, yeah, I already disassembled the N64 car uh, console um, and we'll uh, I think we'll do the hardest part first. I will try to solder the flex cable onto the Nintendo uh, RCP unit. Um, yeah, I think we'll start by doing that. So uh, I'm very excited about this because uh, we've waited some time for this. Um, yeah, let's get started. So um, yeah, I took apart the N64 console. Uh, and I already cleaned the pins here on the on the chip. Um, now the second thing we should do is uh, put a bit of uh, flux on there, um, non-corrosive. So I have uh, something like that in here. It's not the pen that Marshall uh, talks about or uh, recommends in his uh, in his. Um, yeah, advices, but um, this is the one flux that I know is non-corrosive, and uh, yeah, that shouldn't be a problem with this one. So I just put some uh, flux on the pins. Then I think the easiest way to do this is to use some uh, a bit of Captain tape, um, and we'll just align the flex cable, and then we'll uh, we'll tape it down with some Captain tape. And then that should be uh, ready to solder. Should not be that hard, but it's the first time I did it, so we'll see what it gives. So I have my bit of Captain tape. Uh, let's see that. Yeah, it's like this. Put some soluble tape on here. Make sure it's a bit aligned. And then we'll try to align the flex cable onto the correct pins. You see there's a little dot. This cable should should be just a bit over the pin, not much, just a bit, and then we'll try to tape it on its place. Okay, that seems fine. Um, I'll try to use my little uh, SMD pencil. Put a little bit of solder on it. Wipe it off. See what it does. I'll push it down a bit. Now we'll try to connect. Okay, so what I've uh, ended up doing is um, setting up my uh, microscope. It has a, a good light on it and um, I'm used to SMD soldering with this one. Um, not so used to doing this by hand, but 
yeah, with the little one uh, doing it, yeah, with uh, without a microscope, I just um, tint all the points. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a microscope. I'm going to check every point, and I'm just going to touch up um, every point again with the micro SMD stencil I have. Um, I'm used to this, and so I can. And this way, I can also see there are no uh, joints interconnecting, and that every joint is perfectly. Uh, connected to the flat cable here so um, we'll start again by doing that just put it under the microscope and take the little stencil just put some solder on it yeah not too much and now we'll just go by each and every pin just put some focus on this yeah just touch up every pin a bit I get perfect joint on every connection. For me it's also a lot faster because I can just tap every point connect every point by tapping it and having the solar melt a bit put it a little bit extra on the final joint Okay, so I have every joint soldered. Um, I'm going to take a picture of this and then uh, I'll include it in the video. Um, this way you can see how nicely all the points are joined and how evenly it's done. Pretty, uh, I'm pretty pleased with that. So I'll just put this away. And then uh, what we have to do is we have to connect these other two wires. But I'm going to take off the Kapton tape first to lighten them a little. Yeah, that's good. All right. So just going to put some flux on the capacitor legs here. Right there, and then we have to bend this little one towards that point. I'll solder it with a normal little bit of solder to it. That should be fine. That's one. Let's do the same with this one. That's the second one. <coughs>
that's it. That one should fit uh, just fits pretty nicely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to attach the little long one here on the 16th pin of the PIF chip um, because this is a uh, version 1 of the N64 we have to connect pin 16 so it's this pin to that cable so we'll go on by doing that maybe adding the cable flex a little bit and then just putting a bit of tin on it I'll bend it two times so it will fit snugly onto the pin. That should work. That should be it. We'll uh, start the assembly of the N64 and then uh, yeah, when it's uh, half put together I'll uh, continue with it. Okay, so uh, what I did already was um, I've cut the case of the N64 to accommodate the, the PCB. Um, so I, I try to cut it and file it as flush as possible uh, so the connector will uh, will sit in there um, flush so uh, I'll take another board and I'll show you how to uh, how it uh, fits so the board snugly fits into the Space here, and then the connector is really flush here in the case. So um, the next things you have to do is to put some um, of the um, yeah rubbers and uh, tape on there so it sits uh, nicely leveled. And then you also have to put a little uh, rubber under here under the motherboard so it uh, pushes down how it should so it keeps everything in place so uh, neck uh, previously I've uh, soldered the ribbon cable um, the flex cable and um, I've tested all the connections and uh, looked at it through the microscope um, so now we can go to the the assembly part um, of the console so it's that's not so hard you just have to um, yeah just have to look at what you're doing so um, you re enter those uh, little iron things in the bottom so they keep everything in place and then the board should go in like this I've already connected the flex cable because it's uh, it's easier for me to do it this way and now we'll just put in the motherboard securely on its in its place. It's not so 
in this one if it's correctly done and then the last part is to take this thing and put it in here on the top of the board and over the multi-out connector so everything should go really real nice in its place and now we can go and test I'm going to screw on the connector just to be sure that everything is okay and it sits firmly that's one and I'll do the power section also good measures <clears throat> okay. so that's that so this is how it should be done uh, I have to uh, fasten the other screws but for testing it's not uh, not necessary so the board is really nicely beneath there ribbon cable comes out of here very nicely and just connects through the uh, side connector there and when you have a look at the back it's really nice right there is the mini HDMI out so let's test um, okay I have my power supply here plugged in. yeah that's plugged in um, okay you need the expansion pack or you need the the uh, the other thing which is delivered with the NAS um, I'm just going to put in uh, my EverDrive and put in the power brick and now we connect in mini HDMI, HDMI to the console which is really snugly fit put on the TV uh, select an, the HDMI channel and then uh, take the controller, also add it, power on, and we should get something if everything is okay. Yeah, that seems to work. Let's just take, uh, I don't know, any game. The quality of the TV is not so good, so just for test. Let's just take something that always produces sound and, and does uh, everything we need. Like this so um, when there is sound and there is video and everything it checks the pins of the, the R RCP and it sees that there is data on there so it says uh, no problems found no wiring issues found so the connection is done good and yeah it's working okay so uh, I'll thank you for watching and uh, if you like please uh, give a thumbs up and uh, if you want, you can also subscribe. Thank you. Bye-bye. See you next time.